Greetings everybody. Let's take a look at circulation of a vector field in two dimensions. So what we're asked to do in this case is to calculate the circulation of a vector field f being negative 2y over x squared plus y squared 2x over x squared plus y squared in a counterclockwise direction along a circle with a radius of 2 centered at the origin. And so kind of in, com in contrast to the flux integral where we were looking at the component of the vector field that was normal to the curve, when we're talking about circulation, we're really just saying, well, how much of this vector field is going to give us a boost in the direction of our travel? So now we're looking at the component of the vector field in the same direction as the unit tangent. And so now we're looking for this projection here in this case as opposed to the flux integral when we were looking at the projection into the normal. So really those are kind of just the flip sides of the same coin. So for the circulation, what we really want to calculate is the integral over the curve of f dot t ds. Well, kind of our what was dt, that was going to be the derivative of our um, parameterization divided by the length of the derivative, and ds was the length of our derivative times um, dt and so the length of our derivatives cancel out in that case and we get this is actually the same integral as if we were calculating the integral of f dot dr and so these guys we've actually done before we've just seen it now in a new light where we introduce this new term circulation to kind of talk about that and so what you're really kind of imagining is you have the flow of this vector field in a particular direction and if this curve was maybe the wall of a container um, that was in this in the flow of this fluid then how much of that flow is going to kind of circulate around the um, around that container itself and so that's kind of where the term circulation is really coming from and so for the curve C um, since we want a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin we just take the parameterization um, 2 cosine t 2 sine t in the counterclockwise direction so that our dot then just looks like negative 2 sine t, 2 cosine t. Um, our vector field evaluated on that curve looks like f of 2 cosine t, 2 sine t, which just when we plug everything in um, cancels out those fours and so we get a minus sine t cosine t. So in calculating the circulation, we do the line integral over C of f dot dr. We're plugging in all of the values that we have. This gives us the integral from 0 to 2 pi. Um, negative sine t cosine t for our vector field vector. dr, d, dr being our negative 2 sine t, 2 cosine t dt. That was our dr. We take the dot product of those. Um, which simplifying just gives us a 2 dt for our integrand. Integrating that from 0 to 2 pi just gives us a final result of 4 pi. And so this, the idea behind circulation is really just kind of being the flip side of looking at the flux and we're looking at the direction of the vector field in the direction of the unit tangent, in the direction that we are um, flowing. Uh, for the curve that we're doing the flux we're looking at the normal um, but for this one our line integral calculations really aren't any different than what we've seen in previous videos so I hope this has been kind of a little bit insightful and giving you another example of calculating line integrals and I will see you guys next time